What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I want to get Yara place on the strip and I want to go on Gucci. Probably not going to do either of those. You want to go on the Gucci? Oh, I don't think we're dressed definitely, up. Definitely, definitely not going to do either of those. What's up friends, welcome back to The Vegas Life. If you haven't gathered from the title, we're out here with our boys and we're gonna go ride the monorail, find a kid-friendly place to eat. And this will be part of a new series, I think, about kids in Vegas and things you can do. If you're new to the vlog, let me introduce, we have a 18-month-old and a 10-year-old. So it gives you a really good span of what you can do with kids in Vegas. And if you're a returning vlog, thanks for coming back. All right, so we're gonna be getting on the monorail at the West Gate. It runs all along the strip. I'll put up a picture right here of what it looks like. So you can go all along the strip. It's about $5 a person. Yeah, so this is where we're starting. Uh, we parked in the parking lot. Obviously, if you're here on vacation, you may not be parking in the parking lot. And if you are, okay. Do we just wanna do... Do you wanna just do a... All right, so we're gonna buy these tickets. Babies are free in the stroller. The lady who worked here just said that we walk backwards through the thing to get the stroller through, so hopefully it doesn't uh, close on us. But she said the babies are free, so it's gonna be uh, the three tickets for now. All right, that was a hassle. So they didn't, they only took cash at the machine, so you had to use your phone to buy it over the phone, and then you have to like run through the thing, and it's all beeping, it's just a pain in the butt, but we're through. Side of it, like a lot of stuff on the guess, right side of the strip, the opposite side of the strip from this doesn't have access, so something to think about. All right, so it continues on Caesar's Palace Station, then it which goes across the strip and it comes back and it eventually ends up at the uh, MGM Grand. So we are gonna go and find what is going on at the Link Promenade and find something to eat for family friendly places. All right. Let's do it. Well, the elevator doesn't seem to be coming, so we are going to. Oh, and there's the elevator. Run, 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 run. All right, so we are a little lost. We went down one. We're trying to find the Link Promenade, and I've never gone this way before. So we're hoping one of these ways will take us, obviously. Go somewhere. All right, we're going to have to go down backwards. Sorry, baby. We get good at this after a few years. He does not like it though. I guess if you're with a dog, there's a dog relief area. Is this the three access? I don't know what that is. But there's a dog relief area that way. And around the corner, in case you were wondering, is everything. All right, just remember kids are allowed in the casino area. If you're passing through, they're not allowed over by the gambling. Most places will have something like this. It clearly defines the area you can walk on. Hopefully you can hear me. And I don't get a copyright infringement. But yeah, so we're passing through the link. Thank you. 
Alright, something you'll want to know if you're here with kids, it's given that uh, marijuana is legal now, there is a smell of it everywhere. So, that's not an endorsement for or against, I'm just saying that you will know the smell of marijuana a lot of places you walk, including down here right now. Alright, this is the crowd level on a Saturday post-COVID opening up, just to give you an idea. It is pretty busy, everybody is coming back. So everything is pretty packed right now, it's tough We're trying to find somewhere we can meet the kids and everything's got to wait. We're trying to find a spot. All right, so we're kind of a bust on the promenade. You can see how busy it was. Most of the waits were about an hour, so we're just gonna grab something quick at a little walk-up stand. All right, this is where we ended up going. Nook Express, right inside of the link, is just a basic food grab and go type thing with no real seating. All right, so it's Vegas. We're gonna pay Vegas prices for sixty-four dollars. We got pizza, pizza, sandwich, sandwich. Pimples and do drinks. So, yeah, ouch. Alright, so that's frustrating. If you have kids, I mean, there's nowhere to sit. You can see there's nowhere to sit in that area. It's hard to get anywhere. Kids don't want to just stand there and eat. So, our plan right now, we're going to head back to the monorail, head back to the car, and we'll eat there. It's really hot anyway. So, something to consider with kids in Vegas. Things like that. Sometimes you just have to do things like this. Because this one, he's grumpy. Grumpy, you feeling better? You done being grumpy? All right, there you have it. That's a quick down and dirty. We went to the promenade at the link, took the monorail over here. Now we're gonna go back. So make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. We'll see you soon.